Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj and today topic is Northern Hybridization or Northern Bloating. So without any delay, let's start the video. So what is bloating? Because the word bloating is coming in the technique Northern Bloating. So first of all, we should know that what is bloating? So bloating is generally a method of transferring the DNA, RNA or a protein molecule onto the membranes. And membrane may be either of nylon or nitrocellulose or polyvinylidene fluoride membrane means the process of transferring this DNA RNA protein molecule onto the membrane is known as the bloating. Now what is northern hybridization? So northern hybridization is a technique which is used to detect the specific RNA sequence from the RNA sample and we usually done this to study the gene expression and we can also recognize a specific RNA sequence from many RNA sample and this technique it was developed in 1977 by James Elwine, David Kemp and George Stark. Now let's discuss the procedure of this northern hybridization. So first step is the extraction of RNA because we are detecting RNA. So we need the, uh, we need the RNA sample or RNA. So first step is the RNA extraction by which we extract the RNA. Then we perform the agrose gel electrophoresis of this RNA and in this technique the RNA fragment they are separated according to their size. So now we have different RNA fragments which are arranged according to their size and in the next step these RNA bands these are now transferred to membrane the membrane may either be nylon or nitrocellulose and these single stranded RNA molecules are now transferred to nylon membrane and after transferring to the nylon membrane now we can detect specific kind of RNA by using probe. What are probes? So probes are also oligonucleotides which are generally single stranded DNA or single stranded RNA molecules which are specific or which have complementary base pair with regard to us RNA which we want to isolate. Means they specifically recognize or they will ultimately only bind to the DNA RNA which you want to isolate. So we now add these probes which are complementary to the RNA of interest or RNA which you want to isolate or detect. And these probes, these are labeled. What it means? Means one of their end is labeled with some special kind of chemicals or molecules like they may either be radio labeled in which a radioactive compound is labeled to their one end and they may either be fluorescently labeled which are labeled with some fluorescence molecule. So here if these are radioactively labeled so they can be visualized by a technique known as autoradiography in which X-ray film is used and as we know the radioactive element which are used in the labeling of these probes so they emit some radiations so these radiations when they expose to x-ray film so they ultimately gives the indication or they ultimately give the position of these probes and we also know that these probes were specific for the DNA, RNA which we want to isolate so the position of these probe ultimately gives us the position of that particular RNA. So by this we can ultimately detect or isolate the RNA of interest from the sample of many RNA. So this is the complete procedure of northern hybridization or northern bloating. Now what are the applications of this northern hybridization? So first application of this northern hybridization is that by using this we can ultimately observe the gene expression of a particular gene and the gene expression pattern of a particular tissue or organ. Secondly, we can also show or it is also used to show the overexpression of oncogenes and also the down regulation of tumor suppressor genes in cancerous cells and we can also use it for the detection of viral microRNAs that play a role in the viral infections. 
सो दीज आर सम एप्लीकेशन ऑफ नॉर्दर्न हाइब्रिडाइजेशन सो दैट्स ऑल फॉर टूडे गाइज सी इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू वेरी मच